Hello and welcome to Sea Trade Cruise Talks. We're back with another episode. Sea Trade Cruise Talks is a series of educational content featuring cruise professionals and industry leaders discussing the challenges and opportunities of the current and future industry climate. You can sponsor a talk to align your brand with innovative thinking and recent trends and to receive highly relevant, engaged leads that are seeking the sort of value your brand provides. Contact us at sales at seatradecruise.com or find us on socials at seatradecruise. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for weekly talks content. Hi Sea Trade Cruise community, welcome to Sea Trade Cruise Talks. I'm Frances Mosson and in today's very special episode, I'm catching up with the finalists for this year's Sustainable Initiative of the Year Prize. Today I'm here with Stan Shamal, Director of Data Analytics and AI at Lufthansa Industry Solutions US. Welcome Stan. Hello, thank you. Thank you very much for having me. No worries. Why don't you tell our audience a little bit more about what brings you here today? Well, um, we are reducing food waste on um, on cruise ships, on cruise ship vessels, and uh, Sea Trade Cruise Met is a great platform to talk about that, to talk about our responsibility in reducing our environmental footprint, and uh, we are very happy um, to be being selected for being nominated for this award and um, very proud of that. It's an important um, it's a, um, an important initiative in our industry. And uh, yes, thanks for having us on, um, on this platform. No, you're welcome. Um, it's our pleasure completely. Um, as you mentioned your initiative, the Food Waste Reduction AI tool, I was just wondering if you could tell us a little bit more about how that works. Yes, yes, of course. So the tool predicts uh, food consumption for the next 24 to 78 hours. It does it for each buffet, for each buffet dish, pasta, lasagna, cordon bleu, you name it. And um, we basically use historical data and combine it with uh, passenger characteristics and predict how much food will be consumed. We utilize CCTV cameras, um, in the area of the buffet to understand what, what's the fill level and what's the current consumption of, um, of, of the food, of the food dishes, and then train an AI model on this video data to basically predict the future. And the main benefit of that tool is you reduce um, food waste, which is a very important topic in the cruise industry. Yeah, of course. Um, I'm sure everyone can see the benefit of this tool. And I was just wondering if you could explain a little bit better of how and why um, Lufanta decided to, cre to create this tool. Well, um, it's, it, it, as I mentioned, it's a huge topic. It's a huge issue in the cruise industry. It is estimated that a seven-day cruise generates about 20 tons of food waste. Wow. And um, over 100 millions of dollars are associated with, uh, with food waste. So there is a um, financial interest, but there is also an environmental reason to reduce that cost. And um, the cost and well, due to our longstanding relationship in the cruise industry, um, we saw that this is a pain point cruise lines have. And together with our partners and our cruise line partners, we um, developed a tool which um, reduces the food waste, which tackles exactly that problem and only that problem by using the technology we are very familiar with. Wow, amazing. It sounds extremely, extremely useful. So what would you say are the top three reasons that cruise ships need to use this food waste reduction AI tool? Right now, if you look at the, how the process works right now, it, it is a very manual process and a very inaccurate process on how cruise lines, on a crew, how um, food waste is measured on a cruise ship. And that is why current estimations of fuel consumption are way off um, what, what, what was estimated before. And that's the main driver of food waste. Right? That food waste is generated again and again because the, the estimates are simply wrong because they were done on manually and an accurate level. So the food waste reduction AI tool takes out the human error from the equation. It measures the consumption accurately uh, and predicts the numbers then without any biases. So 
um, it's a completely automated process. It's a completely automated um, system, which basically tells you on how much um, how much food consumption to expect in the next um, hours or days. And it also scales. Right? That's maybe the, the the last reason for last good reason for um, implementing that tool. Um, it scales very easily on each buffet, and it can be integrated on each buffet environment, which which uh, is overlooked by CCTV cameras. So it does not require any changes in um, in the current hardware in the current kitchen environment, which makes it very easily um, installable and implementable on the ship. Wow, yeah, amazing. It's actually so interesting to hear how technology can be used to streamline some of these operations on, on the cruise ship. Um, that's fantastic. So how can cruise ships actually begin to implement this cool tool to improve their sustainable operations? That's actually exactly the question we ask our, our cruise line partners, because from our experience, we know um, it it needs to be easy and it needs to be installable on the on the current one, so not only looking for new ships which will come out in, in next in next years, but also install it on the on the current environment without changing a lot in 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 in, in the structure. So um, we work very hard to make the installation very easy. As I mentioned before, we use existing CCTV cameras, so we take the video stream from those existing CCTV cameras, we put it in a software which runs completely on the ship. Again, on the ship we train the model. So it requires about two to four weeks of data. And um, then we train the model. And after that, the system starts to calculate three values. The first one is um, what, the, what is the current fill level of each buffet dish? Um, how long the buffet dish already lives on the buffet uh, since last refill? And then the last value is actually the prediction. How much um, food will I need of this particular dish um, for the next hours, whatever the, the hours um, and, uh, um, in the future are required. And we then show the results um, on the tablet, um, in the kitchen, um, on the ship, um, and if requested, send them out um, to a land server. But in many cases, those results are um, have the most impactful, uh, are mostly impactful in, on the ship. So people on the ship need to see how much rice, pasta do I need for the next, in the next two hours. So, um, as I mentioned before, we do not change anything. We just take the existing environment, plug in the software, and um, and uh, let it um, train model for a couple of weeks, and um, then it's ready to go. Wow, that sounds amazing and relatively easy for people to implement into their cu current operations. So I really hope mm -hmm. to see this on some cruise ships in the very near future. Um, Congratulations, I have to say, on your nomination as a finalist. Um, and finally, I'd just love to ask you, um, why do you think you should win at this year's Sea Trade Cruise Awards? Well, you know, besides of the technology, of very sophisticated technology we use in, in, this, um, in this tool, um, we also see and can measure that the tool has a positive impact on reducing our environmental footprint. So it's not only easily installable and applicable on the ship, it also creates the value what we want to achieve. And the value in this case is reducing food waste. So by running tests and hypothesis tests on, um, on, on um, in existing environments, we saw a reduction in food waste, which is the main reason why we did it. And um, the feasibility or the, the mixture of the uh, tool being very easily installable and feasible for current environments and producing the results we want to have um, is something what differentiates us from many other sustainability initiatives, which either generate a marginal impact or are very costly to install or require a lot of changes in the machinery. Um, so you can see really an impact. Of that. And, um, and we did it that way because our experience in the cruise industry tells us um, tools are used um, and utilized only if, again, they are easy to understand, um, easily installable, and are implementable at a reasonable price. So um, I think those three factors really differentiate us from, uh, from many other um, um, initiatives. And um, we, are, we have to be already nominated by, um, uh, by C3 Cruise Met, but also 
um, being recognized and see that and see the positive feedback from the tool um, makes us hopeful to win the prize. Well, amazing. Um, thank you very much. And again, congratulations on your nomination. I can't wait to see who wins at Sea Trade Cruise Med. Thank you.